Pirate's Cove at Tino Beach was beautiful, but was it worth it? Why do they call this resort Pirate's Cove? Stick around to the end and we'll tell you. All right, we are in beautiful Freeport's Celebrity Infinity right beside us. Senior frogs in front of us. As you get off the ship and head toward where the taxi cabs are at, you run into the straw market. Plenty of shopping opportunities here, plenty of opportunities for food and drink as well. The cab ride to Pirate's Cove was interesting to say the least. It's about a 20 minute ride and the cab drivers here drive like a bat out of hell. Finally, we arrived unscathed at Tano Beach, home of Pirate's Cove. Hello guys, Josh and Chasty here with Tracy from Pirate's Cove. It's a uh, $14 taxi ride per person to get here round trip uh, in Freeport. <clears throat> it's a pretty interesting place. Um, got a lot, got all the amenities. It's uh, $28 for a beach and umbrella combo and then $12 to per person to get in. Um, you can see the everything that's out there. Crystal clear water. It's pretty good to snorkel in. Um, I don't know, it's not bad. We didn't think there was gonna be much to do in Freeport. We spent a lot of time exploring around the Coquina Rock and looking for wildlife such as snails trapped in between the crevices. The sounds that the water makes here going in and out are just beautiful.
The crystal clear waters of Freeport makes looking for wildlife while waiting and snorkeling a breeze and it's just beautiful to see what all's underneath. <laughs> Yeah, the little. Come here. This is all like Look coral. Look at these. Don't step on it. What is it? These are all like underwater. They look like brains. Look at this. They're standing up. Yeah. Can you get a picture of that? Oh, oh right. Look at this one. Here's another one. Yeah. Here's one. I don't like touching these. Look at the fish. I don't like touching these. <laughs> there's a bunch of fish right here. No. If you chose to opt out of the all-inclusive option, there are plenty of places to eat all around Pirate's Cove in these small cabanas. The Blackbeard Tree Bar had a great atmosphere and the drinks matched it.
while the drinks and the bartender staff are great at the Blackbeard Tree Bar, they are expensive. Three cocktails and three waters cost 36 bucks. We had the Blue Hawaiian, which was outstanding. Leaving the bar and heading to the sidewalk on the right hand side, if you'll look to the left of the sidewalk, you will find where the excursions are being sold. Pirate's Cove also has its own straw market with some very unique items. Continuing on down the beach, you'll see the playground for the kiddos, and then off to the left, changing room and restrooms. A word of caution, the all-inclusive pool is the above ground one that you see before you. Coming up next, is where the all-inclusive, all-you-can-eat is located. The food actually looked really good. They had jerk chicken, curry chicken, a bunch of different kinds of conch and salads. The all-inclusive pass is $50 per adult. With this pass, you get all you can eat and all you can drink. You also get to snorkel, do kayaking, stand-up paddleboarding, and beach volleyball. And it also includes that awesome pool we showed you earlier. On on the screen are some of the prices for the a la carte excursions that you may want to do. As you can see, they're not cheap. And oh, by the way, we didn't see any water park anywhere. As promised, the answer to the question. Taano Beach in the Lakaya National Forest is where Pirates of the Caribbean was filmed. That's why they decided to name this all-inclusive resort Pirates Cove. We hope this video was helpful to you. And if you would, return the favor to us by liking, subscribing, and hitting the alert bell. Come on over and join the Moonlight Mafia. We have cocktails.